Hello everyone, this is Deatry King Bay here with a sneak peek of Someone to Hold, my contribution to the Hot Undercover Bosses box set that is due for release early July. Jordan closed the wrought iron door to her unit behind them and walked across to the elevator bank. The top five floors of her complex shared three elevators. The entry area was the only part of the complex she didn't like. Please tell me you have something planned for this space. Jordan motioned around the brightly painted and lit yet boring 20 by 40 foot area. The only positive was the elegant wrought iron double doors to her unit she'd had installed. Her place in New York didn't have a door, at least not a traditional front door. Instead, she'd step off a private elevator into her home. Though she'd lived in New York 10 years, the place never felt like home. She should have known it wouldn't have worked. Home should have entry doors, not elevator stops. Monica looked at her like she'd lost her mind. Of course I do. The elevator doors opened and the view improved exponentially. Who was this fine specimen of manhood before her? A big girl. She liked the man she liked a man who could hold her when they had vertical sex. The last thing she needed to worry about was breaking her neck in the shower, and that he held her gaze as she walked onto the elevator. Another check for the plus column. Good evening, ladies. Without taking his eyes off Jordan, he bowed his head slightly and held his hand out to her. Thick fingers and no ring or tan line had her imagining those fingers entering her. Maybe Monica was right and she needed a boy toy, she mused. It had only been a few weeks since her last sexual interlude, and here she was ready to drop her panties for Mr. Tall, Dark, and Handsome. She heard the elevators close behind them. I'm Evan. Evan Locke. Accepting his outstretched hand, she bowed her head slightly but maintained eye contact. Penetrating brown eyes, she couldn't stop looking into them even if she wanted to. I'm Jordan, Jordan Smith, and this is my sister Monica. Pleasure to meet you both. Still holding Jordan's hand, he undressed her with his eyes. Are you my new neighbor? I hope so. Firm grip without squeezing the blood from her hand, this man knew how to restrain his power, and she loved it. Excuse me, Monica interrupted, but are you married? Jordan shot Monica the don't start look. She'd gone 35 years without her sister's assistance in finding a man and done perfectly fine. She didn't need her help now. No, ma'am. He released Jordan's hands. I'm not currently married and I've been divorced twice. He returned his attention to Jordan. I do not currently have a girlfriend either. What about a boyfriend? Horrified, Jordan pinched Monica where her future back fat would be. Damn it, Shoo Shoo! Hand on the edge of her mid back, Monica spun around. That hurt. Good, it was supposed to. Chuckling, Evan calmly said, It's okay, my sisters are just as protective of me. No, Miss Monica, I do not have a boyfriend either. I'm strictly heterosexual. Any more questions? Monica eased two arm lengths away from Jordan. How old are you and how many children do you have? I know where you live, princess. Keep it up. I'm, 30, I'm 43 and these gray hairs are a result of raising a son and a daughter who are currently in college. Anything else? Jordan had missed the gray near the tips of his ears. Oh, how dashing. The door slid open. That'll be it for now. Monica looped her arm around Jordan. It was nice meeting you, Evan. It was nice meeting you both. I'll see you around, Jordan. I look forward to it. She offered a polite nod, then exited the elevator and turned toward the corridor that led to the main lobby. She glanced over her shoulder. Evan watched her a few seconds longer, then headed the opposite direction toward the parking garage. Entering the complex's main lobby, the sisters broke out into a fit of giggles. That's the end of the sample. I can't wait to see to share the rest of someone to hold with you. Be sure to pre-order Hot Undercover Bosses from Amazon.com. Twelve amazing authors, one hot box set. And please, please spread the word. Have a great day. Bye-bye.